Good evening, people of the world. On today's lesson in Volleyball 101, we will learn about 11 different types of players you may encounter. Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! First on our list will be the loud guy. The loud guy believes he needs to stay in high decibel to play at peak performance. Aggressive in nature, yeah, he's always ball. loud. I got it! Yeah! I got it! Guys suck! It's Pete when you get another player. Yo, I got my buddy Dan, I'm sure he'll play. Dude, there's not enough wind today. I don't play when there's no wind. Now we have the once in a blue moon player. The nature of a blue moon player is to be social yet not active. Gotta finish my coffee. Three hours of sleep, man. I can't. Running on E. I don't play with yellow nets. Our next volleyball archetype is generally seen as the dick. He is known as the liar. Disregarding ethics and morals, the liar will do anything no, to win. No, dude, ball mark, right here. No, 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 touch! Dude, you totally touched that. I swear to God, no touch. Oh, what? There was no net! Keith, come on. Next on our list is the greasy player. The greasy players like to conserve energy. They're fun to watch, yet not fun to play. Whoa! One ball. Outside, come on. Yeah, keep going. Sure. Now to the most commonly known culprit is Mr. High Five. Let's go. Mr. High Five seems to take more pleasure in high-fiving than actually playing volleyball. Oh, no. My man Steve, let me back. Oh. Go! Yeah! Got some guys, yeah! Now demonstrating the young tryhard. Regardless of how ineffective his attempts might be, he will try and try and try. Yeah, guys, yeah! Guys, could I, could I play with you guys? The next category of players are the randoms, broken up into player X and player Y. First, player X. You hope you never get player X. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not that bad. <laughs> Yo guys, could I, could I play with you guys? Secondly, player Y. You also hope you never get player Y. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, don't worry, I'm not that bad. Next, we have the one-hit wonders. Performing on the lower half of a bell curve, the one-hit wonder is both inconsistent and chauvinist. Woo! All day, baby! Just can't stop it! Making balls rain today! Swear to God, man, I block like this every time. The most unique of the bunch is the innovator. The innovator believes he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And he believes that his techniques should soon be widespread. I'm, you're more stable, you can't get tooled, it's impossible. I've tested it, there's so much more power in a fist. I don't know, man, I think I found something with this. Like, there's no thinking. It's just no, no setting, no bumping, just all tacos. Our next species of volleyball player is Mr. Ritual. This one speaks for itself. Is that score correct? Lastly, but not leastly, it is the point grabbly. The point grabbly believes that he must grab as many points as he can at any point throughout the match. 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two. it doesn't matter. He doesn't care. Yeah. Fair. Hey, well, do you not count my high line? You got the reserve, right? I mean, you must have. Like, we stopped and talked about it for like five minutes. There was a reserve. You sure that score is correct? No, I'm just starting to trust you anymore. Did you go to school to take the score? Because you suck at it. You're really bad. Thank you for watching everyone. You have now been introduced to the starting 11 stereotypes. Be on the lookout because there are more. This has been Volleyball 101 signing out. Cheerio everyone.